Bible verses Satan doesn't want you to know. 1 Peter 5-8 Be sober-minded. Be watchful. Your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. To be sober-minded means to be in control of your mind, body, and spirit. It means to not be intoxicated by the strong and alluring influences of sin. It means to be serious about your daily walk with Christ because Satan is out to destroy your faith. 1 John 3-8 Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil. For the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. To take sin lightly and give into it on a regular basis is what Satan wants you to do. This will keep you bound in fear and anxiety and will keep you from reaching your full potential in Christ. Christ came to set you free from death, but also from sin. John 8, 44, you are of your father the devil, and your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Satan is called the father of lies for a reason, because he was the first to ever tell a lie, and he is the master of deception. If you want to be like Christ and not Satan, then make it your sole business in life to always be honest. Truthful speech is Logos speech. It's divine utterance. James for colon seven, submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. The real secret weapon of a true believer is not to pray and rebuke the devil. The true secret to overcoming the devil is to submit your spirit, body, and soul to God. If you want true victory over Satan, then submit your life to Christ and walk with him daily. Revelation 12, 11, and they overcame him because of the blood of the lamb and because of the word of their testimony. And they did not love their life even when faced with death. Three points of power. One, trust in the blood of Christ, Jesus's victory on the cross too. Be bold in testifying to the faith you have in Christ three. Do not worry about your life. It's in God's hands. Die for Christ daily and pray you have the opportunity to be a martyr for his glory. Revelation 12 to nine, and the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world, he was thrown down to the earth and his angels were thrown down with him. He's been thrown down once before by God and it's going to happen again when Christ returns. This time, it will be final. He will be thrown into the lake of fire for eternity. If you are a believer in Christ, rejoice because one day you will be set free from Satan's temptations.